for the sign of Aries, hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the bottom cards are paired with the top cards. And I'll be going through the past, present, challenge, and outcome. So, in the recent past, we have the Magician card. Now, with the ma Magician card... It's another card that often signifies new beginnings and great expectations. Now, this card, it reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in the greater of the world if we simply make it a point to try. This is actual transformation of the literal and figurative world in normal ways. So, if, or you, well, let me rephrase that. You are not going to have it all handed to you on a plate, but if you have the potential to have the plate and a lot of what's on it, if you do the magic yourself. Now, just keep in mind, the magic is all about action. So, in the past, if you do nothing, you probably got nothing. And if you did not know what to do, then you needed to just do something because anything would have been better than nothing. In other words, if you didn't try in the past, you didn't get anything or you wouldn't have gotten anything. And now the Magician card is paired with a Nine of Pentacles. Now, this is one of the most uplifting and encouraging cards in the tarot. This can mean that your financial worries were over for a while and that things in general would have been going better than you thought was even possible. So you made sure to enjoy this good energy that came your way and you shared your wealth and happiness with others. And that's in the past. And we'll move on to the present. The Ten of Wands. Now as you can see in the picture. With the Ten of Wands. It's showing that you may feel as though you're carrying a heavy burden. You probably want to look hard. At this and see if there are any ways that you might lighten your load either literally or figuratively now if you look carefully you probably you'll probably find that part of the burden you're carrying emotionally or in your head it actually belongs to someone else if you, if you think about it. Now, it's going to be important for you to pace yourself now. Don't try to take on too much. And now we have the Ten of Wands paired with the Chariot. So with the Chariot showing up in your reading, it indicates a lot of energy. But it's not a free-for-all energy. It's directed, controlled and has a goal in mind. So when, like I said, when this card appears, you're more than likely to be fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involve and what you are willing to do to make them come to fruition, to come to life. Now, basically, this card it points to determination and ambition. So, it's about getting things done and testing and proving that you've got what it takes. This is a sign that you should move forward with whatever you have in mind and in your heart and give it your best shot. So, remember that you need to use both your intellect and your heart in order to be truly successful at what you're trying to accomplish or to achieve. And with these two cards paired together, the Ten of Wands 
is saying that you may feel like you're carrying a heavy load. So pace yourself so that you can balance things out because it's paired with the chariot card and the chariot card, like I said, it's directed, controlled, and it has a goal in mind. So, um, so what you need to do is you need to balance yourself out because you could be kind of, uh, burden or feel like you're burdened or carrying a heavy load with what you're trying to accomplish by the uh, chariot. So pace yourself now. And that's going to be the present. And then we move on to the challenge. We have the seven of pentacles. Now this is often a card about returns on investments. This can be such as bank account returning money to you or such as investments of time, effort, and energy that you have put into a relationship, family, or friends. Now, you will be reaping what you, what you have sown. And this is positive. Now, overall, you should be feeling more secure than you have in a while. Things will be moving along well, and you'll be feeling hopeful about the future with a very good reason, a very good cause. Now, also, you may have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, situations that you already are involved with, or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. So what you need to do is choose carefully, choose wisely. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles. It's paired with the Tower card. Now, with the Tower card, trying to hold too tightly to the status quo can be disastrous now. You'll have to roll with the, any changes that come your way. Now, it's likely that some people, situations that you have counted on as being there for you in many ways, they're probably no longer there in quite the same way. Now, this doesn't have to be dire. Change is the nature of life and trying to prevent it. It's going to be like trying to pedal upstream without a pedal. So if you have been building castles in the air, this may be the time that some of them came crashing down to earth. Now that's only a problem if you let it be, so keep that in mind. It's only a problem if you let it be. You will be able to replace them with some more realistic and reachable dreams and goals if some fantasies fall apart this month. So dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in reality too. And with these two cards paired together, the Seven of Pentacles, it's about money coming back to you. So it could be from investments, it could be something that you put out that you're getting back um, as interest. It's just um, about positive things that you put out and it's coming back to you. It could be about that too. And then with the Tower card, it's just letting you know that um, try not to hold on to the status quo, roll with the changes, uh, people that have been there for you may no longer be there for you in the same way, so I don't know if this is going to have something to do with the investments that are being returned to you, the money that's coming to you, uh, maybe you'll have some envious people. Um, that they just see you in a different light and it changes the whole situation that you two have had together. So it could be a number of things, but you just need to roll with the changes, roll with any punches. And with the Seven of Pentacles, I would just enjoy the money that's coming to you, the investments that's being returned to you from the efforts that you had put in 
over time. And then that's going to be your challenge. And now we move on to the outcome. We have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is often occurred about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. Now, it can be, but it's not always connected with children or childhood. It's important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days. Now, we all have happy mem memories to reflect on from time to time, but if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. And we have the Six of Cups paired with the Ten of Cups. Now, as most people know, the Ten of Cups, it's another one of the most uplifting cards in the tarot. Now, this card points to happiness, perhaps in a more mature, grown-up, global kind of way, as opposed to a more personal, less global wish fulfillment, which is promised by the Nine of Cups. So, either way, it's a good card. Basically, the Ten of Cups, it speaks about happy family life, even if you're single, and to overall well-being that goes beyond you, yourself, to include those that you are most concerned about, such as your parents, your siblings, children, etc. So, being spirit spiritually fulfilled is also a part of the picture. Now, this is a good card to see regardless of any questions that you have. So with these two cards paired together, the Six of Cups is about looking back. It's about uh, childhood, possibly childhood memories, but you don't want to spend too much time dwelling in the past of, the, of yesteryear. Because you have the Ten of Cups, like I said, it's one of the most uplifting cards in the tarot. And it points to happy days in a mature type of way. Um, you could be feeling spiritual. Um, you get a lot, of, with this ten of, ten of Cups, you get a lot of wish wishes fulfilled. So it's actually a great outcome for you. And that was your outcome. So Aries, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. But then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. And I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day.